everybody it's your boy wavy bring you back another video and it, specifically my crazy x part two because that video blew the fuck up now in the last video i was telling y'all how um basically what basically ended all together like what just dropped it all now i'm gonna backstep a little bit and tell y'all you know the middle part on where the problems were and then the beginning part where I never wanted the relationship and the more detailed parts on that as well and then that should um, exclude and that should like you know end the whole series and then I'm going to be going on to the next part of the series but anyways you know midway through um, you know it was just the same old same old like now what we was together for three four months and I'm not like I'm not gonna lie like I only saw her about what three days out of the month so it was like you know there was really never that attachment i barely saw her i you know and like you know before with my ex you know y'all gonna hear stories about that as well with her like you know i spent thousands of dollars on her and don't regret a single penny never once had my guard up around her and you know i'll get into details about that later but with this you know my guard was always up like i was never that in, you know what I'm saying like I was giving her the respect she deserves in the relationship but I wasn't like oh I'm gonna do everything like again I barely saw you things are funny from the beginning and again you know that's all gonna come in the final episode like every little thing but you know that was the whole issue from the beginning um you know I barely saw her uh there was times where she, you know, we was chilling, and she'll rush me to bring her back home, so she could smoke with some um, with somebody else. And I'm, just, you know, to me, I'm just like, you know, I didn't say nothing. I just did it because, again, I'm not. Ta I'm just kind of letting things go and see what happens. So if she wants to do something like that. I'm not gonna say no and make a deal about it. I was like, all right, you know. But if you're like, you know, who rushes to go smoke with somebody else? You know, you barely see your your boyfriend. And you chill me for a couple hours. You know, own place with that chill as long as you want. You know, no rush to get home, but then you want to go back home. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just doesn't. Everything was always funny from the start. There'd be times like, you know, I'll drop her off. There's people there, and it's, you know, it's just, and like, you know, she'll tell me like an excuse, like, oh, I have to go home because it is. But when I go there, you know, cars are just never there or there. So it was just the whole time, like, I, the whole thing was just fishy. I could never really understand exactly what it was or why, um, you know, she was even with me in the beginning. Because it's just like, I t can tell, like, she wasn't for it. But it's just like, bro, I didn't want to, you know, we, I smashed, um, what you call it, I said things that, you know, a nigga should say. And it's like, I didn't want to be that nigga to go back on and be like, you know, that fuck nigga. So I gave it, you know, the time of day, played the both boyfriend role. And then, you know, when shit hit the fan and she wanted uh, to cheat. That's kind of like why I was like, all right, well, that's my reason. I don't need to be. And it's like, you know, that's when I told you things escalated to the whole phase by end, to the whole contacting my friends, to the whole, you know, saying they're going to call the police and press charges. You know, it was just a big game to get my attention over, like, you know, you did wrong. And the thing is, the whole time, I couldn't get, like, I'm sorry. Like, like they thought they were innocent. Like, I told y'all this. Like, they thought they were innocent. They thought they did nothing wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they get, they, you know, I, this happens. This isn't the first time I'm talking about that people get mad when I don't want to, when I'm, I don't get angry or hype. Like, I typically just keep a smile, a cool, calm smile on my face and just talk calmly. And, like, people... I don't know, like, they girls just don't like it for some reason, like, they want me to yell, and I just not, not a yeller, but, yeah, you know, everything that's just been going on, like, the back and forth, the, you know, just the little weird, sly, sneaky shit, you know what I'm saying, and then, like, on top of that, whenever she's over my house, she's in her phone, like, the whole time, like, my phone literally sits on the charger, like, I, I just barely use my phone like i mean i don't know that's just me but it's just like how you gonna on top of not barely seeing your man you're gonna come over and just be on your phone the whole time like just not even like just on her phone like playing a game or watching videos like girls normally do or scrolling through instagram or snapchat bro just straight talking to other dudes like multiple you know like it is just like 
I, you know, again, I'm not gonna stress. I'm not gonna see, cause I, you know, I do get jealous, like, but I've only gotten jealous with one girl. It's like really how much you give a fuck, and it's like I couldn't get jealous or get mad over any of that stuff because again, it was really never taken seriously in the first place. Oh man, but like you know, it's just you know, again. So I want to start for a second and say like y'all blew up the last video. And I really appreciate love and support and the fact that y'all even give two shits about my personal life is insane. But yeah, I you know, I did a couple of things, like, you know, when I on top of barely seeing her, you know, I did take her places, you know, we went to like a drive in movie, uh, got her nipples pairs, I think I did something, I don't you know, a few things, gave her money sometimes. Nothing crazy for me to call it a finesse though, or for me to feel like I lost anything. But even through all the thing and like, you know, even through all the bullshit, even though I was super respectful, even though I didn't disrespect you in any way, and I was like, hey, if, you know, we could be friends, if you need me, I'm saying, you know, I was saying things like that, she's like, I don't want to be your friend, but it's like, she wanted me to stay her boyfriend after that happened, but she said she does not want friends, so she does not want to be my friend, and I'm just like, well... You know, I don't want to be in this relationship. You know what I'm saying? It was like either her way or the highway type of thing. And I really just didn't know how to take that. So I was telling her, like, I'm not going to be with you. I'm not staying with you. You know, we could be friends. Like, again, I'm not mad. Like, I don't hate you. You know, it's fine. You know, I wasn't making a big deal over the whole situation. But no, she just wasn't having it. It was basically like this. Either forget the situation and be with her. Or, you know, it was just the whole thing. You know, the things she was saying, the way she was acting, you know, again in the last video. It was just so much going on leading up to it. It was just crazy. You know, even throughout all that time. Like, you know, what was going on in her mind is like, oh, let me see what I can steal. You know what I'm saying? It's just like true colors um, come out. And you really start to understand what people are really like. And I was saying things like to her. It's like, you know, like, is this really who you are? Like, you're this petty. Like, I was saying, like, you're this childish. Because how are you really going to sit here and just switch up and start talking all this craziness? Because all I'm trying to do is break up with you because you did, you cheated. Like, you know, it's just like you can't get mad at somebody for doing something like that it just it, it just doesn't sit right it doesn't really make much of any sense and i honestly really never understood it so you know long story short i tried being respectful i tried being nice i was like i even said you could stay tonight you know but you know i don't want to be together or hang out for a while because she was already there she couldn't go home you know, I was saying we could be friends, we can talk, you know, we don't, you know, again, I did nothing wrong, I was not a bad dude, you see what I'm saying, but for someone to come at me like that and disrespect me the way they did, and it's like, you know, it's not even like it was just like, duh, like, for days, even like, as I'm recording this not too long ago, like, probably, this is probably a week after, or maybe more, from the end situation, she's still watching, like, you know, um, uh, she's still like watching me on social media. It's like, to you know, and I don't really know how much to a certain extent. Like, you know, she was saying things like, if I was seen to send it to her house, like, you know, things like, you know, it's like saying things that kind of throw you off. Like, but you know, again, I'm not sending no girl to your house. You're not gonna show it to my house to fight no girl. And you know, again, that's not even what I'm thinking about. Like, I just want you gone because I'm done with you. You see what I'm saying, guys? And that's exactly why. <clears throat> You know, things just never were, you know, she, I, would, I would talk to her, like, you know, she would say, like, oh, I'm my own person, I can do what I want, and that's 100% true, she is her own person, she can do whatever she so damn pleases, but it's like, when I'm making, you know, when you're in a relationship, there, you know, people, you have to communicate, like, I like this, I like that, I don't like this, I don't like that, when I'm saying reasonable things, like, you know, and again, you know, I'm gonna end it soon, I was very understanding and accepting of things she wanted to do. Like, you know, again, she wanted to work at a strip club. Did not mind it. I would say, that's fine. You could work at a strip club. It wouldn't affect me because that's, that's one of the things that don't bother me. It's, you know, it's whatever. 
Um, I, she, she, she wanted to do something else. It, oh, she does like Snapchat premium thing, like where she's sending her goods to people every day. Again, something that does not bother me, but like, bro, you're going to fuck a nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's levels, there's lines, bro. And for you to think that that was going to be okay is insane. But yeah, guys, thank you for tuning every day. The next episode will be out soon. Um, not sure what I'm playing next, but yeah, wavy out, and I'll see y'all next video.